welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. I'm so happy you stopped by and clicked on today's massive grocery haul video. This week I did quite a large shopping trip. I did my monthly Costco run, which was huge. I also did my weekly shopping, shopping for this weekend's camping trip, which you'll see that vlog coming out here shortly, and kind of a stock up on some of the things that I just happened to run out of. So we have a massive grocery haul this week all the things. I'm gonna share with you my meal plan, what you can see or expect to see on a Monday for meal prep. It's a busy day today. So let's jump right in to this week's grocery haul. We are starting this week's massive grocery haul off with a run to Costco. What massive grocery haul doesn't start with a monthly trip to Costco? So I have all the things you see here, plus over there is a case of water. So that is one thing that is not shown, but let's jump first into what we picked up from Costco. The first thing I grabbed is this super cute denim jacket. I got this in an XL. It was a bit big, but I wanted it oversized in case this winter I wanted to wear a cute hoodie under it. But you guys, this cute jean jacket, it's kind of a darker denim with the silver embellishments. It was $10. So if you're making a Costco run, highly recommend i mean ten dollars you can't beat that for a jacket and again this is the buffalo brand and again costco ten dollars also the coveted toilet paper and paper towels all from costco as well so we went ahead and stocked up i think i have about four or five rolls of paper towels and literally one pack of pa toilet paper left so i was grateful that costco was stocked up you guys know how my husband feels about these Marie calendars, pot pies. He's obsessed with these. So I grabbed these for him. I do not eat these. I don't even honestly really like them, but he likes to have them on those early, early mornings. If you guys didn't know, my husband starts work at 3.30 in the morning a couple days of work a week. So he just wants something quick and easy and this does the trick and he loves them. So Costco's a great price, eight of these for $10. Also my husband, as you know, loves olives. So I went ahead and picked up this huge bag of olives. It's less than $5. I just throw it in a Ziploc container or like a storage container and throw it in my fridge and it lasts forever. I dump some of the liquid out and keep some of it in so that the olives stay nice and soft and moist and wet. But yeah, you guys, this is a killer deal at Costco. So I grabbed that, picked up some eggs. These are the Kirkland Organic Eggs, $6.39, not bad for two dozen eggs. This was the steal of the day. So this is the Simply Fresh Four Fresh Salads. So these are those salads that are already in a plastic container. All you do is throw your toppings on and your dressing. 280 calories, of course the points were here on the screen for you, but this four pack of salads was $4. That's a dollar a salad. And since we're heading out camping this weekend, I picked it up because we thought we could have it with our hot dog for lunch and kind of have a little bit more balanced of a lunch while we're camping. So yeah, if you have a Costco, $4, a dollar a salad. Restocked our heartburn medicine because killer price at Costco. My husband and I both take one of these every single day. So we go through this rather quickly, but it's only $12.99 which is such a fantastic deal. And then these are my very favorite makeup remover towelettes. I love these, the Kirkland brand. I just love these. They don't make my skin break out. They're fragrance free. They're awesome. Actually, you get 180 of them for $12.99. And there are a couple of packs of travel size, which I think has, oh yeah, right here, 15 count travel packs. I love those to throw in your suitcase or take with you on like a getaway weekend. So love those. And then of course I restocked my chosen foods mayonnaise. You guys know this is our favorite mayonnaise. And it's funny because my husband loves this mayo as well so best price at costco lots of fresh fruit for camping and for the upcoming week i got this big pack of organic blueberries and i got the pack of organic strawberries oh my gosh you guys don't these look delicious i'm so excited that fruit is actually looking good again so excited pack of organic mushrooms we are going to be making some campers packs for camping you guys will see all of this in my camping vlog but my husband wanted mushrooms in these little packs that we're making so i grabbed that 
And my husband lately has been obsessed with bread and butter chips. I don't know what it is. He doesn't even like sweet pickles, but he has been loving these. And I love these on like my hamburger, my sandwiches. So $4 at Costco for 64 ounces. So we will forever have his bread and butter chips in our refrigerator. Speaking of my husband, I grabbed this big pack of chips for him. He takes one of these in his lunch every day. These range from four to five smart points. So Great choice, $15 for this big pack of 54 bags. So that will definitely last him quite a while. And then I saw this and I had to get it. So this is the Prep Works Pro Keeper, four pieces. This is a produce keeper set. This is amazing, you guys. I always have my produce go bad, especially like watermelon that sits in its own juice or lettuce. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's a base down here and there is a grate. So any moisture or liquid settles into this base, which is separate from the actual container. And then there's an airflow vent as well to help bring air through and keep it dry. I'm so excited. And $25 for four pieces was such a a fantastic deal so when I unbox this to wash it I'll show you guys what it looks like it may go on sale I wasn't sure but I had to pick it up because I've been wanting something for produce storage in my refrigerator and then lastly I picked up some lettuce a big bag of organic romaine hearts I thought I could chop this up for salads and mix that with baby spinach because I like to have baby spinach in my smoothies as well so I usually bag some of this up to throw in the freezer and then I thought I could mix it in for salads for the week so that is everything that I picked up from Costco. So let's jump into my Walmart grocery pickup and what I grabbed from Trader Joe's. I told you this was a big haul. All right, so here are those containers. You guys, I'm obsessed. I now I wish I would have bought two because that would be even better. I do have some extra strawberries. I'll just end up putting those in a different container, but here is the strawberry. So what I like about it is, I don't know if you guys can read this very well, but it tells you whether or not there should be water because technically you throw your produce in here, you wash it in this same container. And if it says that there should be water here, this one will show a little bit better. So this one is leafy greens. So it says that there's water in a vent. So you actually wash your veggies in here. The water will trickle down to the bottom. If the vent is checked, then you pop this air vent on the side. So you can see how that's open and closed. So it allows a little bit of air in there and then the water will settle to the bottom. So cool. So this is that entire pack of romaine. Here are my strawberries my blueberries and that entire bag of spinach how fun so it looks like leafy greens you are okay with some water as well as an air vent but berries you actually keep the little vent here so that's open and then that's closed leave it closed you guys these are awesome. And here's the rest of my massive grocery haul. So I went to Walmart pickup and Trader Joe's. So everything that doesn't say Trader Joe's on it is directly from Walmart. Now this is for our camping trip this weekend, as well as lunches and meals throughout the entire week. Coupled with Costco, we are set. So let's jump into this week's grocery haul. First thing I picked up was a box of elbow macaroni. My husband has requested his favorite pasta salad for camping, which is basically a macaroni salad with olives and green onions and all sorts of good stuff in there, cheese cubes. So I'm gonna be making that. So I grabbed the elbows for that. And as always, I picked up my six pack of kombucha. So there's three Trilogy, three Gingerade, and three Gingerberry. You guys know I love kombucha. Whenever I do a Walmart pickup, I always, always try to grab this because it's a really good deal. It's $15 for six bottles when normally they're about three to three fifty dollars a bottle. So killer deal at Walmart. And then we needed some hot dog, or I'm sorry, hamburger buns for camping. So I grabbed these great value hamburger buns. These are only 100 calories. That's actually the lowest calorie hamburger bun I've ever seen. The ones at Fred Meyer where I normally shop are about 120 So excited to see that those were only 100 calories and then I grabbed these big sub rolls we're making Philly cheesesteaks this next week and I thought that these would be a little more fresh and a little more fancy than a store brand store-bought roll this is directly from the bakery at Walmart 
For camping, my husband requested French onion dip. The Dean's, in my opinion, is the best, so I grabbed that. And then I also picked up some of the ballpark bun size hot dogs. These are for lunches. We're going to do some hot dogs, make it really easy, have that with the pasta salad and some fruit. So these are for him. And then he also requested little Smokies. So we like to throw these on a marshmallow skewer and throw these on the fire and they get nice and toasty. They're really, really good. So I picked those up. And then for my husband's lunches next week, he requested breakfast burritos. So I picked up some mild Italian sausage. They had no already chunked sausage, like sausage crumbles at Walmart at all. So I just grabbed this. I'll just cook it down myself and make it into sausage crumbles. Also for the Philly cheese steaks, we needed some provolone cheese. So I grabbed that. And then of course at Trader Joe's, I grabbed the Trader Joe's light three cheese blend. I really, really like this cheese. It doesn't taste like a reduced fat cheese at all to me. So I always like to have that in my fridge. I also always like to have the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella cheese. So I picked up another pack of that. And then for my husband's breakfast burritos, I grabbed the Fiesta Blend cheese from Walmart. For camping, we decided we were going to make a spin on a s'more. We're going to do it in an ice cream cone with marshmallows and chocolate. Well, since he doesn't like chocolate, I grabbed these caramel bits so that we can make his s'more cone with caramel. So you guys will definitely be seeing this in my camping vlog that should be out not too long after we return from our trip. So I thought these little caramel bits would be really easy just to throw in that cone. Also at Trader Joe's, restocked my Applegate smoked turkey breast. I really, really like this turkey breast and it's zero points on both blue and purple. So I picked that up. Again, just another thing I just like to have in my refrigerator for those times that I'm digging a sandwich or a wrap. For the breakfast burrito, some Southern style hash browns just so I can fry those up and add those to those burritos. Also some mild taco sauce. I thought I was completely out of my Thrive taco seasoning and I'm not, so I'm so excited because it has much better ingredients, but I'll probably just save this for something for my husband. He likes to have burritos or tacos sometimes in his lunch, so I'll save that for that. And then I'm making these campfire packs, which basically is a foil pack that has potatoes and sausage and veggies. So for those packs, I picked up these sweet Italian chicken sausages from Trader Joe's. I tried to get the Sam's Choice chicken apple because those are my favorite and they're only two points, but they didn't have any. So I opted for these. These are three points. They're really, really delicious. And then for hot dogs for me, I grabbed these organic grass-fed uncured beef hot dogs i'm weird about my hot dogs so uh, these are for me and then my husband will just have the regular ballpark for his macaroni salad we need cheese and i usually buy a big block but these were really really inexpensive at walmart oh and look they gave me reduced fat dang it i didn't mean to i didn't order reduced fat but that's okay Nonetheless, we'll be using both of these blocks of cheese. There's another one here for that salad. I just cut it up into cubes and mix it in with all the other goodness. Also, I grabbed a Parmesan cheese and I actually ordered the small container and they were out. So they substituted with this big container, which is a great deal for $2.44 for real Parmesan. So that was a fantastic substitution. I also grabbed some sourdough English muffins. I'm going to be making breakfast sandwiches to take camping. So all we have to do is warm them up. It makes it so easy. So these are for my husband and I'll be using the Ezekiel English muffins for myself. Almond milk, the only almond milk that Walmart had in stock was great value. And this is the only one that I could find that did not have natural flavors and did not have carrageenan. So great value, unsweetened almond milk for the win. And I also picked up just a small container of whole milk so that we have this on hand for recipes. I have two or three recipes this next week that call for whole milk, so grabbed that. And then, big surprise to no one, I picked up six more of the Clio vanilla yogurt bars. I think I still have five or six in my refrigerator, but because I'm obsessed. So I picked up six more of those. This one was open, which isn't a big deal because the Clio bar itself is wrapped on the inside. So grab those. Also some dill relish for camping and also to make that salad. I like to put dill relish in that macaroni salad. It just gives it that nice zing of pickles. And then I grabbed four of the Siggy's 4% full fat yogurt. I have two mixed berry and I have two vanilla there. These are five smart points, but it is full fat, creamy, delicious yogurt. 
I love it so much. So I grabbed four of those because I'm out of yogurt for the week. And then for my husband's lunch, another box of his little bites and party. You guys know he loves these. I don't really like these, so it doesn't really tempt me having these in my pantry. So otherwise, I don't know that I'd buy them. But he loves them, and I throw one little package in his lunch each day. And then for camping and also for a recipe, I grabbed the Trader Joe's Organic Corn Chip Dippers. These are so addicting and delicious. And they actually have pretty good ingredients. The oil's not my favorite, but overall for a chip, they have good ingredients and it's organic. So I know that the corn is organic, non-GMO. So grabbed that. And we're gonna have that with this French onion dip for camping. And then again, I need it for an upcoming recipe. And then to bring camping, I grabbed these Trader Joe's pink and whites. We both really like like the animal frosted cookies. So I thought these would be a fun little thing to have on my splurge day while we're camping. And then of course a restock on the yogurt pretzels for him. He loves these in his lunch. I like these, but I don't like the point. So I never eat these to be honest, but if you're a yogurt pretzel person, these are actually really, really good. So I bag those up into little sandwich bags and throw those into his lunch. Two bags of the Trader Joe's cauliflower gnocchi because I used one last night and that was the last one that I had in my freezer. So a restock on that because it's so good, you guys. Everything else is produce. So at Walmart, I restock all my frozen veggies. So I have two bags of the organic broccoli florets one bag of the mixed veggies, and then one bag of the multicolor cauliflower blend. I'm just about out of frozen veggies, so I'm gonna throw these four bags in my freezer. Grab some zucchini for those campers packs, those foil packs, and then just for snacking and salads. Bell peppers for the packs, as well as for salads, and I have another recipe. I think it's the Philly cheese that calls for red bell peppers as well some bananas for a recipe and then I like to really really ripen these up and throw these in the freezer for my smoothies. Grabbed a pineapple. This is for a recipe meal prep. I'm making like a pineapple chicken with the leftover delicious orange sauce from last week's meal prep. If you haven't seen that video check it out because we saved some of the sauce and chicken for this week's meal prep. So can't wait to share that with you guys on Monday. A watermelon because we thought what's better to take camping than watermelon am I right? So we grabbed that snow peas for a recipe and again no organic at trader joe's so i need to do some research to see if these should be eaten organic if you know let me know down in the comments but they didn't have it so i just grabbed the regular organic lemons for my water i've been still on a lemon water kick i'm loving it a big red onion for those foil packs and a upcoming recipe some green onions another thing that trader joe's does not have in organic so i don't know if that is something we should be purchasing organic or not but i grabbed them while i was there and last but not least some organic cilantro and this is for an upcoming recipe so that is it my friends costco trader joe's walmart pickup Whew, that was a grocery haul. So let's get into this week's meal plan and what you'll see on Monday for meal prep. So let's jump into this week's meal plan. As you guys know, this is my Carriel meal planner. I absolutely love it. They still do not have the spiral bound option on their website. If you didn't know, due to the coronavirus, they actually had to eliminate their staff. It is a very small business ran by a husband and wife, and they just aren't able to make the meal planners right now. They do have a digital downloaded version if you wanna take advantage of that. My code will work for that as well, and my code is down in the description box. But without further ado, let's look at what we're doing for my meal plan. So let's first go to the monthly plan. This is something I utilize every month. I write down what I'm going to be making for the entire month. It's very easy for me to meal plan from there. These recipes are from my meal plan service that I offer over on my Facebook group. So make sure you're part of that. So I jot everything down there. And then from there, I utilize the weekly menu. You can write down all of your meals. I generally just track dinner because I do meal prep breakfast and lunch, but I'll write down my dinners. There's a detachable grocery list. I literally use that every single week. So I love my planner so much. This is a total lifesaver for me. So this is this week's, you'll see the grocery list is missing. So this is the week of five, six, or I'm sorry, six, six through six, 12. So today is Saturday and we are currently camping. So I'm actually filming this video before we head out. So it is basically my splurge day. 
That's what we're doing on Saturday. Sunday, I'm going to be making a taco casserole. You will see that recipe in next week's What I Eat in a Day, so stay tuned for that. Monday, I'm going to be making sesame chicken. I don't know. It just sounded really, really delicious. Probably pair this with some rice and some veggies. Tuesday is sheet pan Philly steak. So I am making Philly cheesesteak sandwiches on a sheet pan. Crazy, right? Very, very simple. One pan cleanup. We'll add it to a hoagie roll. And that's what I bought those delicious bakery hoagie rolls for. So I'm excited for that. Wednesday, I'm going to be doing an instant pot chicken Alfredo. This is a very simple recipe because we actually are heading out camping again next Thursday. So I'm doing a simple recipe Wednesday night to give me time to get ready to go camping. So that is Wednesdays. Thursday, Friday, we're camping as well as into the following Saturday. Can't wait. Stay tuned, my friends, for camping vlogs. On the back of the weekly menu is where I plan out my meal prep. It just makes it very easy to just do it right on the back. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making a four flavor sheet pan pancake. As you can tell, I love sheet pans. This is going to be a one big pancake four different ways. So we'll have chocolate chip, we'll have strawberry, banana, all the things. And you guys will be seeing this recipe along with my lunch and snack in Monday's video. So stay tuned. Lunches is pineapple chicken stir fry. So again, we're utilizing the leftover sauce and chicken from last week's meal prep. And we're making a second meal with it. So I love that we kind of got a two for one out of last week's lunch prep. And by the way, that lunch was amazing. So super excited for that. And then for a snack or sweet treat this week, I'm going to be making a blueberry muffin bread. So we are going to combine blueberry muffins and bread and make a delicious sweet treat. So stay tuned for all three of these recipes coming your way on Monday for meal prep. So again, that's my menu for the week. This is my Carriel meal planner. I will have the link down below to save you 10% off anything you pick up from their website. And it's a great time to support such a small business. Thank you for joining me on another weekly My WW Grocery Haul. My friends, did we have a haul. I'm so excited for camping. I'm so excited for my meal plan and meal prep because that orange chicken bowl that I had this last week was amazing. And if that is any indication of how good this week's lunch prep is going to be, I cannot wait. That meal plan and meal prep looks so incredibly delicious. Down in the description box is the link for my website, which is where all of my recipes are, the discounts and links to save you some money on my favorite things, and the link to head over and join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you be part of the community over there. We're over 15,000 strong, and it's just a wonderful, supportive place to be. So head on over and join us. If you're new, make sure you hit that little subscribe button and the bell located right next to it so you're notified when new videos are uploaded. You don't want to miss a single one. Give this one a big thumbs up if you love grocery hauls. Leave your comments down below on what recipe you're most excited for. Have a fantastic weekend, my friends, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>